I feel like um, our training and rehab staff did a really good job with having me ready to come back. I felt like when I got in, I was, I was ready to roll. Uh, didn't really feel like I had too much dust on me. I felt like I was right back in the swing of things. And with the offensive line, there have been so many changes and, or just guys in and out with you know, aches and pains or whatever. Where is that group at as far as just like cohesiveness and just, you know, not just the stars, but all yeah. you guys? Uh, simply put, next man up. Uh, everyone in the room has a starter mentality. Um, and when your numbers call, you have to perform. And it's simply just that. I know it's obviously a different position, but does that mentality help when you're trying, when you got a guy like Brandon Scherf who's leaving? Does it help the whole line that, that so many guys have started to be able to kind of fill a void like that? Definitely, definitely, because everyone in the room has experience. Everyone in the room feels confident and capable to do their job. So, yeah, definitely. What are your, feeling, what are your thoughts on Carson Wentz so far? What, what have you learned about Carson as, as a leader, as a player? I think he's a hell of a guy. I think he's a hell of a football player. I think he prepares well. Um, one of the one of the best that I've seen in the business so far. What's up? The Ravens have won 22 preseason games in a row. Yeah. What would it mean to be the team that finally ends that streak? Huh, let me think about that. Hmm. <laughs> I think it would be great. Uh, yeah, winning is always great. Uh, I would love to beat someone that's won 22 preseason games in a row. That would be great. Uh, so, yeah, all in all, it would be great. What kind of a celebration would that call for afterward? Ooh, maybe a dance or two. Uh, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, some celebratory chicken wings. I don't know. <laughs> Aubrey, to me. Um, what's it like, your role as kind of the swing tackle, a guy that can play on both sides, how, what's the length of time it takes for an offensive line to gel when people are in and out like it, this time of year? Uh, simply put, life comes at you fast. So I don't think there is a certain duration of time. It's like, hey, Luke, you're up at right tackle. Uh, Luke, you're up at left tackle. Uh, his shoe just fell off. Go in the game. And it's like, as you're going into the game, okay, it's time to go. That's about the duration of time you have to prepare yourself. Have you gone into the game because somebody's shoe fell off? Oh, uh, definitely. <laughs> Jeez, how do I fall out? Um, just, uh, so... I guess, how do you uh, feel that this has been going since, you know, I know you said that you're back to normal, but if you don't, what were you kind of dealing with or was it kind of out of the, I know you said you've had COVID a lot. So yeah. like, is that, I've been, I've been waiting to talk about this, but today probably isn't a good day. So you should probably talk to L, our trainer about what I was dealing with. Um, but yeah, man, I feel like I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to roll, ready to play some football, ready to get back out there with my teammates and have a great season. <clears throat> I know we <laughs> did well. Yeah, we're not. We don't get to talk to you. Really? Yeah. Dang. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I can only just point you in that direction. But uh, yeah. yeah, it was a. It was something small. I'll believe it at that. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say, like, did it take you by surprise or anything? Like, did you know what it, it was for a minute? Uh, no, not really. It was over a graduate period of time. Huh? <laughs> Not to harp on injury illness stuff, yeah. but do you feel any discomfort while you're out there now? Or are you totally good? No, I feel free as a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Um, and just in having a new quarterback, does that affect you personally at tackle? Do you does it affect your timing at all or anything? Oh, it can, because uh, some quarterbacks uh, they hold their cadence a little differently. Uh, the drops are maybe a little bit shallower, a little bit more deeper. Uh, but as you practice and get to know them, all of that stuff kind of goes away and you gel with them. What was the adjustment for Carson compared to Taylor? Or uh, Carson's a bit taller, so he can probably stand a little further back. Whereas like a Heineke, he might have to sit a little bit further up in the pocket. Or a little bit. No, actually... Um, Wentz might be able to sit f closer up because he's taller, and Heineke might have to sit a little bit further back because he's shorter so he can see the field. How long does that take to get Are uh, you looking back there and seeing who's, <laughs> who's back there and okay. see how far you have to sit? Does he hold the ball longer at all, like Taylor does? Or like, has that been an adjustment? Uh, I haven't had my stopwatch on the field lately, so <laughs> 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 I don't really... 
I don't really be timing it. I just be making sure that I'm in between my man and the quarterback. <laughs> no, I haven't. No. When you learned about Carson off the field? Oh, we just had a two-hour conversation on the plane ride the other day. Uh, he does a lot of hunting. He likes popcorn, uh, and the guy's like a fiend for biscuits, gluten-free biscuits. Yeah. How do you feel about gluten-free biscuits? I don't. It's not my thing. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, thanys guys. Cornelius, I think you should talk once a week. Once a week? Once a week. Yeah, I'll be back up here now. Come up. Thank you. Yeah,